Hello world, hello universe. Today I'm going to be showing you some things with your activity monitor. Two things being system memory and disk usage. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation on what they are and how to look at them. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is to open the program up. Uh, whether you go to Finder, you use Launchpad, or you're going into your applications folder like I will do now. Uh, you go down to the bottom, it's going to be towards the bottom, utilities, that's, there's a folder, with a little uh, wrench and a screwdriver, open that up and this will come up, and here are all of your utilities, most of these are pretty advanced, uh, more advanced computer people use these things, but activity monitor is pretty straightforward, so that's the first one, you click on that, that'll open up really quickly, So I thought, all right, here we are. Uh, when you first open it up, it will be on CPU down here. Don't mind this stuff right now. It'll be on C CPU. So like I said, we're going to be looking at system memory and disk usage. So first, let's look at system memory. Most people, well, I wouldn't say most people, but it's commonly thought that system memory is the amount of storage you have on your computer. So people might look and see that it's 2 uh, gigabytes and, you know, think that's not much. But that is not what system memory is. System memory is the speed that your computer is going to move at. Uh, and so you can see it has 2 gigabytes under this pie chart. Pie chart consists of free, wired, active, inactive, used. Now, pretty much all you have to worry about are free and used. Or you don't even really have to worry about used. Honestly, you pretty much just have to worry about the screen free. Now, as you can look at the pie chart, there's a very tiny sliver of the green, which means that I don't have much speed right now. And, of course, many people's first question would be, how do I increase that speed? What you need to do is you need to check how many applications you have open and how much space they're taking up. Now, as you can, if you look at my sidebar, I have a lot of applications open. Safari, iTunes, Photo Booth, etc. So, because all of those are open, my computer is going to run a bit slower. And you can check actually how much they are taking up in this top column. Not column, but space area. You move all the way down, and these are your biggest things that you're using. I'm recording this video right now using an application called Screen Record Pro. As you can see, that is the application taking up the most space on my computer right now. Uh, you will also see that the highest thing is kernel task. Don't worry about that. That's always going to be there. That's a route. It's needed for your computer to run. You're not going to quit that. Second is Safari, iTunes, Word. Now, let's see what happens when we close one of these programs. Let's close... How about we close... Uh, let's close iTunes. Alright? As you can see, iTunes is taking up... Oops, moving around. Uh, taking up 29.9 megabytes of memory right now. So, it, I only have 18, 17, you know, it varies. Megabytes of free memory. So, I'm going to quit iTunes. Uh, this might take a second. Oh, I guess not, but as you can see, now it's up to 51. And that small sliver is well, still a small sliver, but it's gone up. And as we continue to close more applications, the green will get much bigger. Oh, it's back down. Something happened. Uh, I'm not totally sure what that is. I might be doing something with my Safari. But, like I said, it varies. Like, if I were to quit Photo Booth or any of these things, 
all of that is going to increase the speed of your computer. Now, the second thing that I'm going to show you today is disk usage. Disk usage is very easy to look at and, you know, read and figure out. Blue is the space on your computer that you've actually used, and the space free is the com is the amount of space you have left to use. As you, uh, my computer here, my MacBook, is 250 gigabytes, and I have used up 174 gigabytes of that memory. And you got the pie chart. So I've used up almost three quarters of the memory. So I've still got quite a bit left, but you know, you can always increase that amount. In fact, I just deleted a lot of stuff, but then I started making videos and I started downloading stuff with views. And, well, you can see what happened. It was down about halfway. But, yep, all you have to do is, you know, delete stuff from your trash. Remember, when you put something in your trash, it doesn't take away space utilized on your computer. You have to empty your trash before you get that space back. So don't think that when you put it in your trash, it's gone. It's still there. So if you, like, delete an application, and you see that you don't get any space back, that's because it's still in your trash. If I were to empty my trash, I would get all of that space back, anything that was in the trash. But, uh, yeah, see, it's very, you know, comprehensible. And uh, I hope you look at Activity Monitor. It's a cool program that comes with your Apple device, and it allows you, you know, just to check up on your computer. It's like giving your computer a doctor's checkup or something like that. Uh, anyway, I hope you learned something. Thank you.